What's up everybody, it's your boy Kid Smooth. This is another Apples and Oranges video and I am here to kill the rigged, who's gonna win the rigged Super Bowl uh, conspiracy. I mean, there's been too many of them. You look up YouTube, these guys are getting hits. Some of them, <clears throat> they've gotten correct, but I don't think they gotten these uh, picks correct because of numerology or because the sports are rigged. It's just, they went with the better team. Now, this year's, NFL playoff is going to expose all of that and everybody's trying to pick uh, who's going to win or they're going to tell you who's going to win the rigged Super Bowls because they put numbers together and it, it keeps spitting out Andy, um, Andrew Luck and the Colts and the Packers and the Vikings. Well, I'm going to tell you this. The Colts, the Packers and the Vikings will not win the rigged Super Bowl 51. And here's why. Here is why. If you haven't been watching football, let me just tell you. For the teams that are going to win, that's supposedly going to win the rigged Super Bowl 51, the Colts, which is everyone's favorite, everyone's favorite is the Indianapolis Colts. They started the season two and four. Uh, they are currently six and seven. Six and seven. They're, they're third and near the division. But that, that's everybody's lock to win in the rigged Super Bowl. The, the Super Bowl that everybody says is rigged. And Andrew Luck's going to make it there. He's going to meet Aaron Rodgers, who is also struggling in the Super Bowl to win the, the, the Lombardi Trophy. <clears throat> now, let's see. Let's, let me focus on the Colts. They're in a division with uh, the Houston Texans and the Titans. And I think, uh, uh, who else is in that division? I don't even know. But um, none of the teams are impressive. It's easily to say, okay, with three games left, the Colts are likely to make it. Problem is, the Colts just lost to the Texans. They are now six and seven. There's three more weeks left of the football season. They have to win out, and everybody else kind of have to lose out. But here's where things get tough for the rigged Super Bowl champions. The Colts' next three games are versus the Vikings, Raiders, and Jaguars. I can tell you this. The Colts are going one and two over the next three games. No, no, no. They're going to lose to the Vikings. They're going to lose to the Raiders. They will beat the Jaguars. They will beat them. The Texans' next three games are against the Jags, Bengals, and Titans. Now, this schedule benefits either the, the, the Titans and Texans. When they play each other, it doesn't matter who wins. Whoever wins out of them, because since they're tied, are probably going to win the division, therefore eliminating uh, the Andy Dalton's team, which is not Andy Dalton. I keep saying Andy Dalton. Andrew Luck's team, which is going to get eliminated next uh, next week when they play the Vikings. And if they don't get eliminated that week, going to get eliminated when they uh, uh, lose to the Raiders. Because... The Texans will beat the Jaguars. They can upset the Bengals. And they'll probably beat the Titans. But they, they're st even if they don't win all three, I don't think they'll win all three. They'll go two and one. There, there's no way they're losing all three. And, same, and vice versa. The Titans will lose to the Chiefs next week on week 15. They will beat the Jaguars. But they will probably lose to the Texans. And if they do beat the Texans, wow, they're going to win a division. So, please, I don't know what is, like, I did the whole, this is when, like, conspiracies, like, throw my mind up. They, they'll put all these numbers together. Everybody think they have the numbers. Now, what you guys are going to do, you guys are going to get a lot of people hooked. And you're going to send people to these betting tables to bet on these teams that have absolutely no shot, what's going to happen is they're going to lose money because they're going to be betting on teams that are barely making the playoffs. Now, let's take the case for the Packers, who have the highest chance to make the playoffs and have the highest chance maybe to make the Super Bowl out of these rigged Super Bowl predictions. The Packers are currently 7-6. and six. Their schedule isn't too bad. They got the Bears, Vikings, and the Lions. That's their the three schedule. I have the Packers going two and one. Yeah, they'll make the playoffs. They'll make the playoffs. But they're not going to meet Andrew Luck in the playoffs. They're not. If 
and they're not going to meet the Colts in the Super Bowl. That is not happening. This it's not. It, 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 sorry, it hasn't played out that way. They, the, the the master manipulators fucked up on the numbers. They forgot that uh, the Colts are virtually eliminated. The Vikings. Their next three games are against. What do you know? The Colts, the Packers, and the Bears. I have the Vikings going. What do you know? Two and one, beating the Colts and beating the Bears, losing to the Packers to send the Packers to the playoffs. To and and and. But the thing is, if the Packers make the, the playoffs, I know the, the freaking Lions might w- uh, win a division and win win that playoff spot. So I'm not even getting all depth. I'm not pulling up these stupid numbers from numerology and whatnot. Just looking at who has won what and what they lost in their remaining schedule, you can tell you who's going to the playoffs. And I'm sorry you uh, to you guys who've been predicting all year since July that the Indianapolis Colts will win the rigged Super Bowl 51 um, championship in your cap letters. It's not going to happen. Now, if this does happen, if they somehow manage to win their next three games and the other two teams lose and they somehow find a way to beat the Raiders and the Patriots in the playoffs to meet a struggling Packers in the Super Bowl, I will concede, take my L. I was like, you know what? You're right. Fuck sports. And I would never watch another damn NFL game in my life again. I wouldn't root for another team ever. Wouldn't root. I I, I give up on Tom Brady and the Patriots. I was like, fuck it. It's all rigged. I want to see this being put off, but to you guys watching and falling in love with these, who's going to win the rigged Super Bowl 51, it's not going to happen. It's not going to be the Colts. It might be the Packers, but it won't be any other teams they listed. Who's probably going to the Super Bowl is probably going to be the Cowboys versus the Raiders or the Patriots versus the Cowboys versus or the Patriots versus the Giants or the Giants versus the Raiders. The Giants might win. Every time the Giants go to the damn playoffs, they go to the Super Bowl. I don't know. I could be fucking wrong. But I know I am what I'm not wrong about, the Colts winning the Super Bowl. Because they can barely get into the playoffs. They were supposed to be 10 and 6, remember? They can't be 10 and 6 if they already have seven losses. It's kids smooth, apples and oranges, killing that stupid rigged Super Bowl 51 conspiracy before it even happens. Thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, share. Let me know in the comments what you think. Please. Thank you.